Hey guys, what's going on? Jimmy Gavallis, the kitchen cabinet guy. I founded Atlantis Kitchens in 87, and then Manny joined, joined me in 1994. Um, his expertise is, is off the charts. Um, he's been doing this for 21 years now. Um, so today what we're gonna discuss is we're gonna discuss what makes one brand of cabinets better than another. When you're looking at a cabinet, you're gonna see a lot of similarities. You're gonna see a lot of basic construction of the cabinets that right across the board, plywood construction, particle board construction, where you're going to see the differences is basically you're looking at the quality of finishes, draw construction sometimes, you'll get a better quality feel of railing systems that they're using and the types of hinges that they're using on these doors, uh, I'm sorry, on these uh, cabinets. Um, but but, but, but wouldn't you, you say that a, a box is a box, right? I mean, typically, you have a frameless box at a budget production well, there's level. Better, there's better quality boxes. Okay. You know, there's okay. different densities in boxes. That some manufacturers use a particle board, which is a very flaky particle board. But you do have manufacturers out there that do use a furniture grade particle board, but at a better quality, better density. So it's not taboo if you were to do a particle board constructed box as opposed to plywood, but you do have a tendency, people do shun away a lot of times from some of that part. Well, does plywood make it better? It doesn't necessarily No, 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 better. sorry, because there's even the thicknesses of ply and there's different qualities of plywood, but nonetheless, when you get into your better manufacturers, and I use the analogies to, with my clients who are new to the kitchen cabinet uh, shopping experience, uh, I use the Which is almost everybody. Which is- I mean, think yeah, about it. I mean, when they enter this world, they, 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 uh, they don't know anything. So they're dependent on the designer slash salesperson to guide them based on their budget and, and their needs and their wants. I use the analogy of, of automobiles that we can all relate to. Whether it's a Chevy quality or a Ford quality automobile, whether you're looking at a Cadillac. When you're looking at a Cadillac as opposed to the other two brands like a Chevy or a Ford, you expect something a little bit better, a little bit more luxurious, a little more of a better ride. You're paying more for that. Then when you start getting into a little more expensive cabinets, what we call our more custom lines, which is basically your Mercedes Benzes of the of, of the car industry, or your BMWs or whatever. You know, but what you makes know. a Mercedes better? I mean, well, is a Mercedes not made on an assembly line? It's definitely the same thing. It's, it's, right? It has four tires. It ha all these cars that I just described have the an engine to get you from point A to point B. But typically, even a less expensive manufacturer, a Chevy quality manufacturer, is still a good quality manufacturer limited in things you could do within those lines. Typically, I use that analogy. A lot of people say, oh, how about a, what's, what's a Honda? Where does the Honda fit into this? <laughs> or where does a Lexus fit into this? There's always those in-betweens, but typically it's A, B, C as far as quality. But where would you define, so, so you have a, a semi, you have a, you have a stock product, mm -hmm. um, which we've discussed in the previous episodes. You have semi-custom products, um, and then you have custom products. So what is the difference between a frameless stock product and a frameless custom product. What's the well, difference? The, the frameless stock, from my experiences with the brands that we've carried over the years, limited color selections, limited door selections. The quality is very good, uh, you, but again, limitations within what the line is offering. When you get into- But the, a frameless box is a frameless box, Regardless, right? regardless right across the board. Frameless in all three categories of automobiles. Three in, in your, I mean, that's that's what we're trying to say. So an automobile has four wheels at a, at a Hyundai level and, a, and four wheels at a Mercedes level, but the quality of the materials and the quality of the workmanship Perhaps uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's the same thing with cars. Mm -hmm. The quality of the workmanship, the, work, the quality of the number of hands Correct. that actually touch Involved. the product, mm -hmm. um, is what defines a better brand or a better quality of, of product. Most most of the custom lines that we know of and we come across in our industry are very hands-on. It's you know again more hands are involved, more manpower or woman who's ever assembling the cabinets and the finish process. A lot of times those custom lines that we the quality of finish is really what you're paying for in many, many of these cases. When you say the finish, you mean the, the, the quality, the way it looks, the, way it the, looks. the stain, yeah. the, 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 the final process of how it's stained or painted, the different pr process of the hands-on again. Uh, I wonder if a Mercedes car is painted differently than a, than a Honda. I mean, I, I would imagine I it would is. think so. So that, that, that's another point. You know, the, the number of hands that actually touch a custom product, the sanding, finishing, sanding, finishing, sanding, finishing, but all the... The steps that are taken by hand uh, at a custom level is different than at a stock level. That doesn't mean a stock product can't be good because I, I we both believe that a stock and semi-custom oh, product no is pressure. is a better buy than going custom. Mm -hmm. um, but it may not be as what's the word? It doesn't may not have as much depth. Depth or maybe not as much 
pizzazz maybe. Maybe, I'm not sure what the word would be. But again, using a stock cabinet in mind, in my experiences and our experiences, you could jazz up in such a beautiful way with all your accessories, the type of countertop, your hardware, your tiles. If you introduce glass or no glass, your moldings, trimming of some sort, lighting. So you could take that Chevy level and make it look like a Cadillac. There's no question about it. You could save a lot of money on the back end of it. But again, typically with the more semi-custom to custom lines, you expect more quality in your railing systems, quality that you won't get in the more standard stock lines. If you're going in and you want to spend a certain amount of money on cabinetry, then the designer salesperson, designer slash salesperson uh, in the dealership uh, should guide you in the right direction. Right. Because there are ways, especially in our world, we, we prefer it that way, stock and semi-custom cabinets can be dressed up and enhanced to give you a great look today. Your kitchen cabinet designer could assist you in making these decisions. Again, there's never, don't ever feel pressured into right or wrong. It's again, personal taste, and they will give you their personal opinions on certain things. But that's why it's important to, 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 to hook up or to, to um, coordinate your, your purchase with someone you can trust and that, you know, we all, we're salespeople, you know, we're salespeople, mm -hmm. so we're all trying to make a, a, a good sale, uh, but the, the, the folks that really care about keeping you in a budget uh, with a good product and making you happy, you can, you can feel those folks out and you know who's trying to guide you in the right direction. To summarize, what makes a brand better is the amount of hands that touch it, mm -hmm. um, the, the products, the materials that are used to comprise the, the boxes and mm -hmm. the doors, and, and the marketing dollars. And the marketing You know, so those, some those brands stores. will spend a lot of money and they have deep pockets to really to, uh, to actually convince, convince the, public the, of, the public that it's a, a better quality better product. product. And in many cases it is, but in many cases, some of the more basic lines can keep up with those higher end products. Sure, sure. Good luck with your project.